I'd like to thank Giveable especially, Fire Law, for coming down this way. I'd like to thank Nigel and the local land services team for coming in today to help out and for the help for the last couple of months. Uh, the fireys, of course, thank yous and welcome to country. What I plan to get out of today is to learn how to successfully burn country properly and get traditions, traditional knowledge back onto country. In light of recent events such as um, the 2019 fires which hit uh, the Clarence Valley pretty hard, we thought there has to be a better way of fighting fires. The amount of um, animals that we lost that year was really bad. This year we've been doing a lot just to fix up what happened in 2019. Um, we've put out nest boxes, done a lot of projects with cleaning up country and yeah just really wanted to burn at the right times for country so that it can heal itself. My name's Rob Williams, I'm from the Githable tribe up near um, Mully and I'm down here on Yagel country, been invited by the Yagel tribe to come down and do the cultural burn. Today we can see that it's a nice steady burn that's going to go nowhere. We're here to share that what we have, and it's been handed down from generation after generation. One of the laws of the burn is not to bend the top. That stays. You're breaking law straight up if you burn that. Very, very important that you keep that top clear so when the smoke goes up it just clears it it just cleans it bottom line it's just so simple so simple fire law is here to remind everybody how everybody's a part of this and trying to fix country again and bring country back to the way it was meant to be a lot of the ecosystems have changed um, weeds have come in different grasses have come in um, and also invasive natives, what we call invasive natives is which what we call breaking law. That's what we call law. Um, you've got other ecosystems coming in, creeping into other ecosystems, which takes over other stuff and other animals can't survive anymore in these sort of places. If we get the Jaeger mob up to where we need them to be looking after country, they can also start working with all the farmers and also the townships as well. And then everybody becomes to work together again. That's what it's all about. And that's what I love about this journey the most, how it's bringing everybody together. The beauty in cultural burning is it restores a lot of the natural grasses that's meant to be here and brings back some of the native animals that's meant to be here. From, a, from my hazard reduction perspective, there should be more of this. I can see if this happened every year, well, there'd be no hazard. There'd be no hazard at all and we wouldn't be out for weeks on end and days on end um, in, you know, life-threatening situations, whereas there's no risk in doing what we're doing now. This is part of uh, an ongoing effort to get the traditional owners more involved in the uh, management of the Travelling Stock Reserve Network and uh, to carry out or return cultural activities to this part of the country. So. We're undertaking a cultural burn, which will be hopefully one of many that happens on Yagel country from here on in. I can tell you as a kid, I was a bit of a firebug. I lived down Nari village and uh, burning the Bidu bush down there on the weekends was our little bit of fun as children. And uh, yeah, it wasn't cultural burns. It was just being little Mooga kids and yeah, so to actually do this the proper way and actually being taught by elders how to burn the country properly instead of just being little moogers and making bushfires, actually burning it properly and culturally respectfully. I think today is a really good opportunity for knowledge sharing uh, and just an opportunity to experience and share why we're here, what we're doing and, and how we can heal country together. It's a very respectful practice. It's they're talking about the insects and the birds 
um, and, and, the and the shrubs and the trees all the time. That seems to be at the forefront of the conversation, the, the health of um, our companions living on the planet with us. So I think that's, um, it's not about fuel and hazard and risk, it's about health, health of, of our fellow companions on, on the country. Like cleaning your house, you need a broom to clean your house. We use a fire out here in the country and it's just cleaning home. So it makes it a lot more, a lot more um, manageable for us. The way, the way me, me and my brothers and my family see it, we, we don't see it as just our country anymore. It's everybody's country now. We've, we've got to learn to live together and, and coexist together. And why not share knowledge to maintain mother and to give us a better, better fighting chance for our next generations to come up and, and see the beauties that we grew up with. We're, a, um, we're actually in partnership with a group called um, NDRI, Natural Design and Research Institution, which backs a lot of our cultural information up with the science side of stuff as well. Um, so, and one way we want to explain that, we're trying to, um, we created a water management plan based around how the fires bring the rain. And so they show through that, through science, how the fires bring the rains and all this sort of stuff. So when I try to first bring country, fire back to country, we, before I met these guys, um, they thought we were just lighting fires and waiting for the animals to come running out. But it's more than that, it's more than that. And it was just hard to explain it from a cultural perspective without the science to back it up. I think the biggest thing that we need to do through fire law is that trying to remind the human race how we're all a part of this because we are the fastest adapting creatures on the planet, but we are the fastest to forget as well. So fire law just here to remind, we just here to remind everybody about country and how important it really is. But the most important and key thing is that we work together, black fellas, and white people working together to do and to protect and look after country. And country then look after us at the end of the day. Mm.